What's up? Welcome to more content you didn't subscribe to. Hello? Is there anyone out there? Now this is the exact same question that has troubled our puny ape minds ever since we mastered tools more sophisticated than a wooden than a wooden a wooden club. Is there anyone out there? Where's God? If he's out there, why is he not talking to us? The church wants us to just blindly believe in the existence of God. The wannabe keyboard science buffs want us to just blindly deny his existence. While the real scientists, always being open to discover new things, are kind of willing to accept the possibility that he might be real, if there was evidence of his, you know, realness. Uh, but so far, they haven't exactly been rushing out there to find him. And caught right in the middle of this whole mess is us, the average Joes and Jessicas. Of course, very smart and intelligent, what with our fancy college degrees, but too busy watching TikToks to actually go out there and definitively debunk his existence. And cramping such a complex matter into a three-word sentence like, I believe in science, I don't believe in God. It wasn't really three words, but whatever. So let's talk about God and whether he might be real or not. But first, let me underline one very important fact. I believe God is real, but at the same time, I'm not very religious. In fact, I'm not religious at all. And I strongly deny the existence of the biblical God. You know, this crazy old dude with a beard who sits all day long on top of a white cloud and beaming down thunderbolts every time you slip up in your daily life. Now, this god is likely not real, except maybe in the minds of the people who created him. So when I say I believe god is real, what I really mean is a being of internal existence with the intelligence and abilities the likes of which we can't even imagine. Not with our tiny puny little brains, that's for sure. I'm talking about some omnipresent energy that permeates space and time, like dark energy or something. Of course, that was just an analogy. I'm not saying that God is dark energy. Or... I'm talking about the God who's too busy creating galaxies and shit that he rarely even thinks about us. Instead, letting evolution and natural selection take care of us instead. Unlike the biblical God, this God doesn't give one galactic fuck about that pint of beer you like to knock out on a Saturday night. Now let me explain why I think the existence of God may not be all that unrealistic. Let's consider the fact that for the first time in our history, humanity is on the verge of creating an intelligent being, a mind capable of analyzing and thinking on its own. Of course I'm talking about AI. We're at the point where AI is about to become more intelligent than all of our collective brains taken together. So far, we have taught AI how to draw pictures, write stories, answer our questions, uh, offer solutions to some of our problems. It has even learned to diagnose diseases better than some of our best doctors. And that's just the watered-down version of AI that has been available to the general population for less than, what, 10 years? Now, give AI more time to evolve, and it's likely going to edge us out completely in every realm of science and art. If not enslave all of us and turn us into some kind of energy batteries for its hardware. So what are you gonna say then? Still think that flipping burgers is slavery? But for all its smarts and brains, AI still has a creator. Us. Humanity. Do you see where I'm coming from here? Now let's run a little thought experiment to help you better understand my point of view. Let's travel a little further in the future and imagine that one day we bring AI to another planet and ditch it all alone out there without ever leaving a trace of our involvement. Now thousands of years forward and the AI on another planet has evolved to the point where all memory of humanity has been completely erased from its databanks with maybe some small bits and pieces surviving, but the AI believes it just glitches in its software. Now, at this point, the AI has become, for all intents and purposes, a sovereign being, a sovereign as in independent. Now, it reigns supreme over some kind of martial monkeys, thinking itself to be a complete and independent entity. Humanity.
what humanity, supported by data banks who had had one day, a rate of, extension eight, to an average IQ there was high enough to comprehend what life is. And an average attention span, no higher than five seconds, as indicated by surviving data banks from the now obsolete social media for TikTok. And now my question, does the AI being all on its own now change the fact that it was created by us in the first place? That it had a creator, metaphorically speaking, a god, that once put it together from scratch and wrote its very ability to think and evolve into its code. Think about that. So what are the key takeaways we can draw from everything I just said? If humanity can create an intelligent mind capable of learning and evolving, why couldn't we, another intelligent species, have been created by some other being way higher than us and more intelligent than us, and then placed on this planet where evolution was designed specifically to facilitate our very own growth and development, and then just left alone to evolve as we see fit? Biblical God is too hard to be taken seriously because he was created by our very own minds and thus he is too humane, he is too like us, too unrealistic to be proved by real science. We know there is no old man living in the clouds, we've been up there and we couldn't find anything. But what if we've been looking at this whole issue from a wrong angle altogether? What if God is real and he's just this omnipresent energy capable of intelligence and designing and manipulating the very fibers of the universe and we just haven't had the tools to discover him not yet what if humanity with all its fancy science not even capable of finding the cure for cancer or putting people permanently on mars has been too arrogant and full of itself that he doesn't really want to talk to us yet that he doesn't want to reveal himself to us not until thousands if not millions of years have passed and we have finally learned to understand the world from a different perspective i want you to put that tiktok away for a minute and think about everything i just said i will see you later